In this video, we are going to be awakening the brand new Snow V2 inside of King Legacy. Now, King Legacy recently updated, adding in a whole bunch of new things, including a few awakened fruits, which we're taking a look at. I've already looked at the brand new legendary Doe fruit, which is really, really good. So now it is time to look at the Snow Fruit, which I'm incredibly excited to look at because... I always thought the base snow fruit was pretty cool on its own. But if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help about the channel. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's do this. So uh, King Legacy update, if you don't already know, I've already taken a look at the doe fruit, as I said in the intro of the video. So now it is time to look at the brand new snow fruit. This one right here. Now you're going to need five of these in total. If you do want to awaken this, and yes, I'm using awakened doe right now, but you want five in total because they changed how awakens work. So based off of the rarity is how many fruits you need to awaken it. So like common is 10 fruits, uncommon is eight, rare is six, epic is four, and then legendary is two. But we need five in total because you need to have eaten one and then you need an extra four to actually awaken it. So let's go ahead and take out our snow fruit. And I, I, I've only ever used this fruit once and it's on my alt account that I AFK grind on, which has not AFK in a long time. But let's go ahead and eat the snow fruit. And let's take a look at these abilities. I actually forgot. I don't know if they changed them or anything. So we have snow breath which man, is kind of good it's a, just a small projectile then we have imprisoned ball which is this snow globe thing which is really really annoying um quick little tip if you're ever using this fruit don't use that during boss fights don't use your x people it's not fun it just slows down the death of the boss now we have snowstorm this was actually really really good it's a little tornado then we have whatever this one is the v ability which is not too bad does a decent amount of damage and i think it slows down anyone who's getting hit by it but overall it's not too good then we have transfer which is a teleport it's the mobility of the fruit but this one's mainly used for afking in world one well the transfer is kind of nice okay let's go ahead let's interact with this yeah we need four so let's go ahead equip all four of these there we go now we input all of these into the door and now we've access to a way getting this fruit. Let's see how expensive it is. No, that's not too bad. Yeah, th this one's about the same price as doe fruit was. 325, so it's, it's cheaper. It's 200 gems cheaper than doe. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and buy all these. Let's see how good this fruit is. And I am, yet again, I keep forgetting to equip the avatar. I have the avatar ready, but I forgot to put it on. One second. We always, always have to look the part. It's not too bad considering she doesn't have any faces on Roblox. But Monette, okay, let's go ahead and look at her awakened fruit because this is her fruit in the anime. So we have Frost Flake, which, ooh, gives a nice little snowflake in my hand. If I throw it. Oh, that's not bad. It drags him forward and backwards. Really, really good damage though. I don't have max damage right now because I'm not max level. They added 100 levels. But yeah, that's really good. Okay, let's see. Next one is Blizzard Ballet. Oh, that's not too bad. It kind of reminds me of the old ATK, to be honest. Doesn't do much damage, though. It's more of a controlling fruit, if anything. Because I bet they can't do any attacks during it. I guess it's not, that's not too bad. It could be a lot better, though. Next is Frost Card Play, the C ability. Ooh, that's not bad. That's kind of cool. I like how this is the most damage an ability has, though, the C ability. Oh, I missed that time. So it, it sends out three uh, attacks that hit at a range. Does it, like, hit at a less of a range if I'm really close to something? Yeah, so this is probably something you want to, like, near the ground like this. I mean, that's not too bad. It could be a lot more damage, though. Okay, let's see. Now we have a Blizzard Zone. Oh, wow. That is way bigger. I like that. That's one second. I want to do that one more time. I want to see what it does with my avatar. Oh. Yeah, that's not too bad. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, though, but hits everything, so... Can't hate against it. Okay, let's see. We have our E ability also. The Winter Wing. Oh. What did that do? Wait, did that, did that boost damage? What did that do? Do I, do I have to hold it? I'm, I'm just tapping it. One second. They completely removed my arms, though. At least it's accurate. What is Winter Wing doing? Other than the fact that it's removing my arms. Okay, that's broken. So I'll have to wait for them to fix that, I guess. 
I will say it's kind of funny. I can swing a sword without arms. Okay, we'll look at this blind ability in a moment because they need to fix it. That's probably why this video is so much later than the other Awakening video, just because I need to wait for the wing, the winter wing to be active. Okay, I took off the wings. Apparently, it's fixed now. Let's go ahead and press E and see what it does. Oh, look at that. It actually does replace the hands, too. Oh, when I click, it does the attack. The same attack as the Z. Only different... And I can't actually use my other attacks. Yeah, it's not letting me use my attacks. So it's the only ability... It's the only thing I have now. That is pretty cool, though. Like, overall, I like this. It is kind of disappointing you can't use the other attacks, so I feel like she should be able to, considering she can do this. But it's a nice fly. It's a permanent fly, too. There's no, like, bar to slow you down. Like, that tells you when you're almost done. This one just runs. Yeah, I like this one. This one's really good. It actually replaces the arms with the wings, because she doesn't have wings on her back. I just have that because there's no, like, items on, not, like, on Roblox. But yeah, that is amazing. Huge fan of this flying animation. Yeah, pretty good fruit overall. I, I don't know if it's as worth it as some of the others. I still think this one would be definitely heavily outcast out of from Doe. Doe would kill this one easily. Gate, obviously, because that get fruit's unstoppable even with the nerf. Probably more tolerable now, if anything. And then like, I, I personally am a big fan of flame fruit. That fruit does a ton. But it's very good awaken though. I'm very, very happy with it nonetheless. I can't think of any other games that have the snow fruit. If you know of any that has a snow fruit and like with the wings as the arms and everything, let me know. Because I think this is really, really cool. But yeah, I do like the abilities on this fruit, even though they probably aren't the best. I do think overall they are pretty cool, especially the blizzard zone. I like the blizzard zone a lot. This is probably my favorite ability it has is also this one, which isn't too bad. But I'd rate this fruit like a solid like 8 out of 10. It's much better than a lot of them. But just the pure existence of Gate, Doe, and Flame. And also a few others. There's a, there's a three that I like to use. It's just better to awaken two of those fruits. Or just use Gate. Conform to the PvPers.